uh, we got to experience some, um, it was fantastic. You guys have some of the absolute best traffic in the United States. It was fabulous. So thank you for that. Yes, just flew up today. We're actually flying home tonight. And uh, so I get to sleep in my own bed tonight, which is not normally a thing you do when you're on the road. It's cool. So thanks for being excited about that. I know. You're not. We're all like, we're sleeping in our own beds too. So uh, anyway, we're going to have some fun tonight. You guys, what a, what a fun evening uh, with, uh, with some great people playing tonight. It's pretty cool. Uh, I got to hang out with this, a guy who I respect so much and uh, just one of the best guitar players ever to have uh, walked the face of this earth, Bill Keggy. And uh, too bad he's such a jerk. He's like the nicest human being. Ever. It's just so cool. So anyway, love Phil. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I had to say that. Okay. Hi, Pete. <laughs> Peter Burton, everybody. Okay. We're going to do something off of uh, Godly Impossible, I think. Hey, Aaron, we don't have a, a set list, so... Deep down. Deep down. Okay, that's what... <laughs> He says, sorry, my dad. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna wing it. Can we just kind of have like a chill, casual night? Is that cool? So, uh, yeah, this is called Deep Down. Uh, if you know the words, feel free to sing along. And uh, if you don't know the words, please do not. <laughs> All right, let's see.
we all do this. And sometimes we read the words off of the screen and they fail to pass through our hearts before they come out of our mouth. And this was one of those that I discovered in a, in a difficult way. When I was recording the vocals for this song, my wife was across the street in the hospital recovering from cancer surgery. And I didn't know at the time if, if it was successful, if it wasn't, or what they had found. And I found myself being challenged by these words. So I'm actually recording the song and I'm asking myself the question, do I actually believe this? Do I really, really, in, in the core of who I am, do I actually believe that there's power in the name of Jesus and enough so to heal my wife no matter what's going on? And if that doesn't happen, do I still trust God and do I still believe that there's power in the name of Jesus even if my prayer doesn't get answered the way that I hope that it will? This making sense? So sometimes it's easy to come in and sing words that make us feel good. But sometimes we can fail to grasp the truth of those words and what they really mean down in the deepest core of our being and what they really mean according to the pages of Scripture. And so in that moment, I had to choose to not make it about how I feel and not make it about my circumstances, but to make it about what I know in fact to be true in my innermost being. And that's this, that there is in fact power in the name of Jesus, that the Bible says that His name is the name above every other name in heaven and on earth. And that He's not given up on me, and that He's not given up on my wife, and this was several years ago now, my wife's okay, but the, the point here being is that circumstances do not control truth ever. Facts don't determine truth, church, ever. How many know that the mortality rate on planet Earth is 100%? Is anybody aware of that? Yeah. 100% guarantee we will all die one day. But it does not mean that there is not power in the name of Jesus. It does not mean that we serve a God that can't be trusted. And so church, here's what I want to do all around this place. And here's, here's what I want to challenge you with tonight. I wasn't planning on doing this, but how many know that there's a big difference between obedience and surrender? Yeah. Right? So listen, obedience is kid stuff. But if we really want to put up, put on our grown-up pants and really be mature Christians, surrender is the, that's the big leagues. Where it's not about behavior, it's about transformation, it's about going, God, I just let it all go. And whatever you want to do in my life, just have your way. It's not my plan, but it's your plan. I got my thing that I planned out. It's that Proverbs 16, 9 thing. It says, God, we make our plans. I like that half of that scripture. I like half of Proverbs 16, 9. Like Proverbs 16, 9.5. Man makes his plans. I love that part. But God orders our steps. I have an issue with that sometimes because I like the way God orders my steps sometimes. The church, I want you to do this. This as a sign of surrender. This is not weird or anything like that. You can do this anywhere in the world if somebody came up to you and pulled a gun on you. International sign for surrender. So I just, just get what's on the inside to the outside. Even if you don't feel totally surrendered, maybe it's a good step for you just to say, I'm going to raise my hands and surrender just to show God. God, I'm all yours. Whatever you would have, have your way, not my way. And Lord, I trust that there's actually power in your name. Power for healing. Power to restore hope. Power to restore marriages. Power to restore broken relationships. Father, we believe it tonight. We believe that there is, in fact, power in the name of Jesus.
Jesus to overcome the mountains that we face in our lives. So God, by your spirit, I pray tonight that you would encourage each and every person in this place tonight. Or that you would breathe a fresh wind of your spirit on them. God, your word says that we can encourage one another with the same encouragement that the Holy Spirit gives us. I pray that you would do that tonight. Or that you would walk through this place, that you would mend up wounded hearts. Or that you would breathe fresh fire into people who feel discouraged. Or that you would take weights off that the enemy has been trying to burden people with. That you would lift those weights tonight. Or that they would experience the true freedom can have in you, the freedom that you died to give us. Lord, speak to every man, woman, and child here. Lord, speak to them what they would need to hear from you. Reveal yourself in a new way by your spirit tonight.